Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat and today I'm checking out the new Leica Sephard instant camera. Now I do have a bunch of instant cameras including the Fujifilm Instax with me and I saw this camera and I saw it, I saw information about it when it was launched and I really wanted to get it and I was in a Leica store today and I happened to glance upon this camera and I really wanted to get it. So I paid $2.99 here in the US uh, for this particular camera. It's available in three colors, a white which I didn't like so much and an orange which also I did not like so I got it in the mint color that you see over here. It's available for $2.99 plus taxes and then you'll need instant film because it's one of those cameras uh, that will immediately print out an image almost like an Instagram format again. So then I got the Leica film, the Fuji film, uh, film uh, was slightly cheaper but I decided to get the Leica film because I want to test it out anyway. So let's take a quick look. So the boxing and the packaging is more or less identical to many other Leica cameras but obviously this is a much cheaper camera from Leica so it's basic. It says here ready in 4 minutes it gives you a print of the camera itself. Some interesting things over here it tells you what all you have in the menu options. It's also almost quite identical to the Instax camera so it's possible that Fujifilm is making this camera for uh, Leica. So you do have a bunch of documentation over here, some instructions on how to load up the film etc. And it does come in a whole lot of languages as you can see here. Hopefully there's an English in there. And uh, then you get a strap. So it says Leica over there, it's got a leather strap, a really nice quality strap. And I might use it on my other Leica camera because I don't think I'm going to be putting a strap on this. I mean, unless I'm taking this while I travel or walk around, then I might put a strap on it. Okay, so it uses the same battery. Uh, if you any of you have the Instax camera, you'll uh, realize that it's the same battery as uh, the Instax camera. It's a 740 milliamp hour battery uh, with a real capacity of about 700 milliamps. So that's good enough, I guess. Let's see what else we get over here. We get some converting adapters so that I can charge it in other countries including India and you get a standard US style adapter pin and then you get the adapter itself which is also quite identical to the one on the Instax. That's what the charger looks like. So the battery is rated for about 300 pictures so hopefully I can test that out as well. So this should plug in like that. No problem. And if you do have one of those tile cables, then you can just plug those in here and you don't need any of these. So you have a bunch of options to use the charger. That's more or less it. I'm going to jump directly into the camera now because I'm quite excited to get this going. So that is the camera. It looks pretty good according to me. Again, let me zoom in and focus for you guys. So. That's the camera itself. I've got this in this mint color. It's slightly on the blue side. I don't know why they would call it mint, uh, but it's got a nice brown fake leather accent over here. This is your camera shutter button. You also get this little mirror over here. So if you want to take selfies, you can potentially uh, use it to frame yourself and then click a picture. You do have a standard Xenon flash and an optical viewfinder. So you can basically look through here to frame up your images. And then this opens up. And that's where your film loads in. So let me open up a box of film and uh, load that up. So that's the film. And I believe the first one is a blank. So the minute I pop it in there, it's going to throw a piece of film out. So I'm going to first power the camera up with the battery. Hopefully it has some charge in there. Otherwise I'll have to stop the recording. It looks like it's fully charged or at least partially charged. It's enough. So the camera lens pops out like that. Again, I haven't really used it or checked it out, so I'm going to be testing it a little later. So the yellow line lines up with the yellow line on the cartridge. Then you simply place the cartridge in there. And when you close it up, it's going to throw out the blank like so. So retro, you've got to love that. And then basically your camera is ready to go. I'm going to close up the battery door. And I'm going to show you some of the options that you have over here. So you have a bunch of shooting modes. So there's a selfie mode as it shows you over here. So you have a selfie mode. You have something like a party mode. 
people in party mode, which is these two glasses or these two wine glasses. And then you have basically fast motion or sports mode. And then you have macro, that's pretty common. And then you have double exposure. So this is really cool. It allows you to click a picture and then click another picture on top of the picture and get a double exposure shot. A lot of apps now do that. I don't know what that is, possibly a document. Oh, it's a bulb so basically as long as you hold the shutter the exposure opens so you can get a long exposure shot on this uh, if you have a low light environment you can possibly use this to get a really nice picture it will have to be stable this is a timer it's for 10 you can get a timer for two seconds and then you can turn off the timer now you've got the flash on auto oh uh, this is red eye reduction which is instant uh, interesting and then you have no flash which you can essentially turn off you can also put it in, in a bright mode, which is essentially it's sunny outdoors or a half bright mode. And that's basically it. So I have no mode selected. I'm going to try and click a picture of this plant over here and possibly get a nice image for you guys. So it takes a minute or so for the image to start appearing and it takes about four minutes for the full image to get ready. So while that's happening, let's take a closer look around the camera. So you do have a standard tripod thread over here. So if you want to mount it to a tripod, you can do that. Uh, the type is 2754, that's the model number of the camera. It is made in China, but it is designed in Germany. You still get the Leica red dot over here. And like I said, the selfie mirror is over here. Uh, the name is interesting and uh, Right here it says designed by Leica in Germany. So once you do have the film in there, it's recommended that you don't pull this open. Um, otherwise uh, you might lose the film, but in most cases this film is sealed, so you won't really lose it. But it's recommended that until you run through all your images, uh, all the pictures that you want to click, uh, you shouldn't be opening this latch up. Like you just saw the images come out from this little port over here and uh, it's almost instant you can use this to adjust a bunch of things uh, but it does stay at a fixed 12.7 aperture and it is a 60 mm lens um, but for the kind of camera it is it's pretty cool and uh, you, you can see this image developing over here it still takes some time to get all the color and everything so i'm just going to leave it to the side i found this camera really interesting it's going to go with my other instax camera so it's going to be a cool camera to have around also more or less it's an interesting looking camera and I really kind of like it. And for the price, it's not too bad. It's only $100 more expensive than a standard Instax camera. You can see the image is starting to get some color. It is a low light environment right now. It's not the brightest time. So this camera is essentially designed to be used in more or less really bright situations. Uh, but this film is still developing, which you can see it's starting to get, get the color, uh, the yellow on uh, the plants, flowers are starting to show up. You can see the green in the leaves. I can see a bit of blue on the planter. I'm going to give it just a minute more for it to get the right color. It does say on the back of the film that you shouldn't be putting it in your mouth. You, you probably want to keep it away from toddlers uh, or people who like putting stuff in their mouth, which is just strange anyway. So there you go. It's sort of more or less fully developed. That's a nice picture. It gives a nice uh, retro feel. Like I said earlier, it's more of more or less like an Instagram picture. So it's got that, it's got a kind of a filter feel to it already. But you can get some really nice pictures of your friends and family. And if you're traveling of things and sort of have physical pictures in a day where everyone is actually looking to store images online. But then again, it's not for everyone. And for a price of $2.99, maybe everyone will not want it. But I kind of like the camera. If you want to look at some more images from the camera, I'm going to be uploading a full review of the camera on the website. So if you have any questions or queries about the Leica Instant so far, uh, you can leave that in the comment section below. And uh, you can also go check us out on iGen.in, catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and hit that subscribe button to subscribe to iGen. This has been Bharat Nakwa. Thank you guys for watching. What